Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Greetings from East Lansing, where the IU Michigan State game may have been the most hyped college basketball game of the season. And Tom Crean said it best afterwards. It did indeed live up to that hype. Coach Crean and the Hoosiers, well, they hadn't won here at the Breslin Center since 1991. That's a span of 17 games. Cody Zeller, last time they won here, he wasn't even born, but he gets the J early on. He would go over a thousand points with that bucket. How about Victor Oladipo with the signature play in the first half? IU up by five after that bucket. Christian Watford then would bury a big three as Indiana took a six point lead into the half 36 30. Second half, Derek Nix, they couldn't contain the MSU post. He gets the bucket. MSU up three with two and a half minutes remaining, but under a minute to go. Oladipo with the huge put back puts IU up one 68 67 after a Gary Harris miss on the other end. Oladipo with the jam 70 67 Hoosiers. Now, same score. About five seconds left. Will Sheehy would foul Harris. He could tie the game if he made all three free throws. He would go just one for three, and that would seal it as IU wins in East Lansing 72 68. Yeah, it's big just because, uh, you know, where, where we're at in the season. Um, you know, both of us were uh, tied for the league in the Big Ten. Um, you know, was, hopefully we can carry the momentum throughout the season, but uh, like I said, it was definitely a, b a very big one for us. When you're playing games like this, it's not just about how tough you are, but about how smart you are, how smart you play. And I thought our guys did an excellent job of that tonight. I thought Tom's guys did, and, and that's why it was such a great game. And it doesn't get a whole lot easier for the Hoosiers. They do have the weekend off, but will travel to Minnesota next Tuesday night.